So a minute ago, I said something about the north side and south side having different temperatures. And there's a couple of different explanations for why that happens. Uh, one is the SCRs have been known to get clogged up. And when you get clogged up on the north side, but not on the south side, that means more flue gas is going to go through the side that has least resistance, right? So you get more, tip, uh, more flue gas on the south side, so then the same amount of cooling air at the rotary air heater means that you're still hotter going out. And so that's one way that this split happens. Now, the times that that happened really bad was when we were dealing with water wall leaks and then the water is blowing out in that corner at the slope and it used to be doing it on the one corner over and over again and then that, that swath of flue gas on the north side by the corner had a hell of a lot more uh, moisture in it and that made the ash block up in those little pencil sized holes running through the thing. And that's not, and that inspired us to put this LPA screen in there. Going, ah, if we can keep particles this big out, then they won't clog up there and we won't have a problem. But if the problem is moisture carrying over, then it's, the particles might not be that big until they're downstream of the screen. All right, there is another factor that makes the rotor air heater, or there's another factor with the rotor air heaters that makes these temperatures different. We're gonna go over here. All right, before I drew the rotor heater, it was a rectangle. Now I'm gonna say surprise, they're actually circles. We'll just say they're actually cylinders. So they're circles from above, they're rectangles from the side. And you've got three sections, blue gas, PA is the smallest, and then FD is the middle. So, here, flue gas is flowing down, FD and PA are flowing up, and we are turning that way. Am I checking? Okay, turn into each other. When you look at east. Okay. It's the PA first. That, that's what I was going for. It's the PA first. All right. So now we're going to go back. There's two rotor air heaters. There's an A and a B. And you've got flue gas going down. You've got PA. FD going up. So something you have to worry about on your rotor air heaters is this is upstream of the uh, scrubbers, upstream of the SO2 control, the SDAs. So there's lots of sulfur dioxide in this gas. And if you cool it off, you have that dew point issue, and that cold sulfur dioxide wants to make it, it'll go to the metal, and then it'll form sulfuric acid, and then it'll eat up your ductwork, and then it'll be sucking in air all over the place, and then eventually you'll have holes so big that your ID fan can't keep up, and then you're gonna have to derate the unit until you hunt down all these things and fix them. So, how do we keep from cooling down the flue gas too much? Steam coils. So on the cold end of both the FD and the PA, 
We've got steam coils that take aux steam and run it inside tubes and then the gas goes around the tubes and it heats it up. So in the winter, when you might have 25 degree air going in, then you can still have 70 degree air going into your rotor air heaters so that the flue gas doesn't get too cold. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. The PA duct has another tap that comes off. So you've got purple's going to be red. You've got 600 degree air here, and you've got your 50 degree air or whatever here. And this 50 degree air is used for seal air, and it is used at the mills to mix with the 600 degree air to control your temperatures. So not all, not 100% not of it goes through the rear air heaters. Your FD fans are actually connected Your FD ducts are actually connected both upstream and downstream of the rotor heaters. So something that happens is these steam coils get fuckered up. Fuckered up is a technical term for what happens when a strainer or screen collects stuff. So why does B get fuckered up? Worse than A. Primarily because the fly ash silo is on the south side of the building. So leaks and then dumping in the trucks and then the trucks dusting out and then all those, those doors. That means that the FD duct on the south side sucks in more stuff. Uh, another thing that happens is these things tend to get particularly fucked up about the second week of June. And I blame this on uh, cottonwood, cottonwood bl blossoms. And for some reason, I'm just gonna pretend that we have a southerly wind in the summer that makes the south end get clogged up more. I used to think that, that was a really true statement, but then it turns out that the, I know in the winter we get more northerly winds than we do southerly winds, so there, there went my theory. But yeah, cottonwoods and ash fucker up these screens, and because the FD duct is connected the way it is, if this screen gets fuckered up more, it pushes more of that air over to this side, which means that this side gets cooled off more than this side. So, so if we were 700 going in, on both sides in the summer with a fuckered up screen, you might be uh, 280 on this side and you might be 310 on that side. And those are the two explanations I have for why, ah shit. Got backwards. I do got backwards, don't I? But my logic made sense. Hold on, I gotta work this out. Okay. So more cooling went to that side, so this should have been the lower one. Less cooling. Cooling got robbed from this side, so it's higher. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. You calling me out so I don't accidentally put out bad information for the whole universe to be permanently on the internet. Look at this guy. He doesn't even know what goes up and goes down. <laughs> and uh, in the past, when trying to troubleshoot these experts and calling efficiency experts and you know various engineers to try and help us understand what was going on, one of the things that an engineer said was, well, whatever you think is happening, it's probably the opposite. Because this thing is confusing. Because you've got cold air that can go the wrong way, and you've got hot air that can go the wrong way, and either one will have similar symptoms, and it's hard to tell. <laughs>